absolutely right. He better not be running around like he won the fight. Hey, let's talk for a little minute. Uh, so far, all three fights in this PBC on Prime pay-per-view, well, the two fights before this were uh, prelims uh, free. You can watch them on YouTube or on Amazon Prime. But very good fights. Uh, Julio Cesar Martinez, very up-and-down career for him since beating uh, Charlie Edwards, you know, in what some may consider an upset. He's now 20 and 3 with 15 KOs, 29 years old. Uh, it's just been, you know, from injuries to things, you know, from outside of the ring, trainer changes, uh, no contest, losing a, a Chocolatito. Uh, I just don't really have faith in him. And to make matters even worse is this 112 pound division is all over the place. For example, Bam Rodriguez has moved up to face Juan Francisco Estrada. That's going to be on June the 29th, if I'm correct. So the division is kind of all over the place. These two belts are now vacant. Uh, Martinez is now with PBC, as you can see, fighting on the Zoo Fundora card. And I'm not as versed as I used to be a couple of years ago in the 112 pound, basically all of these small divisions, if being honest. I used to cover these, and for those who don't know, or the hard, or for those who don't do know, the hardcore boxing fans, you got to really want these fights, especially if they're in Japan. You're watching these at 8 a.m. in the morning on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, so these are not normally televised fights. Well, outside of Bam, but you want to see a guy like this, you got to really search. You got to really want it. So I haven't really wanted it over the last couple of years, which is why I'm behind in really knowing who these guys are and putting together the political landscape of what could potentially happen with Julio Cesar Martinez and what fights may be out there for him. So you can let me know down below in the comments what is the logical fight for him next. And uh, is he going to be done with the division? I don't know. He's been there for a while now. And is there? And now that Bam's gone, where is the real money yet? Unless he has a quest to be undisputed. By the way, he fought at Angelino Cordova. Uh, he had some good moments in the fight, but clearly loses this fight to uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. Uh, uh, exciting fighters in these smaller divisions, but I don't see anything special about Julio Cesar Martinez. Uh, here's the punch stats. Uh, 184, 567 for Martinez. 191 of 777. Why? It says Cordova threw 777 punches. How about that? And the more active fighter. But I guess he didn't really start coming on till late. Uh, and uh, uh, Martinez was the more accurate. I'm interested to hear these cards. 131 of 346 in power shots for Martinez. 132 of 475 for Cordova. 53 of 221 in jabs for Martinez. 59 of 302. I guess you can go ahead and pause it uh, if you can. Let's listen to these cards. They may be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a majority decision. Here are the no, score it. totals. Judge of side, Tim Cheatham, scores about 113 to 113, even a draw. Overruled by judges Max DeLuca and David Hudson, both of them scoring about 100. You got to take the belt from the champion. 112 in favor of the winner. And still, WBC flies with. He didn't look too confident. Julio Cesar and Ray Martinez. A fight that was just. He didn't really seem too confident. By the way, very good broadcast quality so far for PBC with uh, Joe Goose and Mauro Ronaldo, uh, Abner Maris um, on the commentary team, Brian Custer, the host of the show, the beautiful and seductive Silver Fox, Claudia Trejos working as the, uh, and, Kate, and um, uh, Jordan Plant working as the uh, post-fight interviewers, and uh, uh, Trejos is the translator. $69.99 on uh, PBC on Prime pay-per-view. You can buy it through your cable. I purchased it through my cable. Watch the prelims on the uh, website. And uh, who do you want to see Martinez fight next? Who is a logical opponent? Oh, he is with Ray Reynoso Ray, Ray, no, so still. I was tripping. Was he not with him for a fight? Or what happened with that? Something happened, didn't it? I don't remember. Well, let's hear if he gets a uh, interview. Um... You have Mick Zarafa versus Iris Lindy Laura up next. Check this out real quick. Look what uh, happened to Brian Mendoza's face since we're waiting for the post-fight interview. 
Won't you see his face? This was the fight before this on the prelims. You can watch this for you on YouTube. Wait, is he getting interviewed? Hold on, let's listen in. Showed me a lot with that heart. Although I think he made a big mistake. Oh no, we're waiting for him to uh, finish with the Spanish. Wait for him to finish with the Spanish team. Wait, where's where's it at? Where's it at? His face was was screwed. So far, very good card. You know, very exciting fights. Hopefully, Lauren Zarafa don't suck the air out of the place. Look at his jaw. Look at that. Look at that. Look at his face. Look at this. Look at this. Grotesque. Grotesque. Well, it looks like we're not going to get a post-fight interview from uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. Weird. Whatever the case may be, uh, take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and teach me controversy with 5v360. Thanks for watching.